Hi, this is Venkat Narayana from Sonia Technologies. Today I am going to discuss pattern with numbers in Java. This is continuation to previous video. Please go through previous video before going through this video. In this program, we need to print pattern like below 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and so on. We will discuss this logic over IntelliJ, launch IntelliJ and create Java application. First step is we need to read input from command prompt system dot out dot print please provide number of rows create instance for scanner class scanner sc equal to new scanner and pass system dot in system dot in sc dot next int and assign to integer variable int number of rows if you want to print output like this then we need rows and columns here we need to print 5 rows and we need to print 5 columns so here we need to use two for loops first for loop to get the row numbers, second for loop to get the columns and values. For int row equal to 1, row less than or equal to number of rows, row plus plus. Next step is we need to get the columns and values. Here if you observe these values, in first row we have one value and value is 1. In second row we have two values and values are 2, 1. In third row we have values like 3, 2, 1. If you want to print values like this then we need to get values based on columns. In first row we need to print column number 1. In second row it contains two columns but here we need to print column values as reverse like 2, 1. In third row we need to print third column, second column, first column for int column equal to row column greater than or equal to 1 column minus minus system dot out dot print column plus white space system dot out dot println execute this program without debugging that means go to run click on run main please provide number of rows 5 enter and we are getting output as 1 2 1 3 2 1 4 3 2 1 5 4 3 2 1 we will discuss this logic over debugging to understand flow of execution put breakpoint here go to run Click on debug main or shift F9, later click step into, click debug main, F7, 5, enter. Here number of rows is equal to 5, that means we need to print 5 rows. Here row is equal to 1, 1 less than or equal to 5, true, it goes to inside. Here we are assigning row to column, row is equal to 1, assign to column, that means column is equal to 1. 1 greater than or equal to 1 true print the column that means 1 here 1 printed later column decrimented 1 that means 0 0 greater than or equal to 1 false it exit from inner loop further goes to next line now row incremented 1 that means row is equal to 2 2 less than or equal to 5 true it goes to inner loop here row is equal to 2 that means 2 assigned to column 2 greater than or equal to 1 true print 2 then column decremented 1 that means 1 greater than or equal to 1 true print 1 later column decremented 1 that means 0 0 greater than or equal to 1 false it exit from for loop and cursor goes to next line cursor in next line then row incremented 1 that means row is equal to 3 3 less than or equal to 5 true then 3 assigned to column then 
3 greater than or equal to 1 that means this loop will execute 3 times it will continue now row is equal to 6 6 less than or equal to 5 false it exit from for loop and here we have output like 1 2 1 3 2 1 4 3 2 1 and so on that's it for today if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel for future videos thank you for watching have a nice day